Nah, Bombo one two one. What against Mean King? Wait, what? Oh, okay, no, you you people are fraternizing with each other. I have the facts. <laughs> I'll just be honest. Oh, okay, this is a scrappy start already. Holy moly. But yeah, I think the main thing for me, my understanding of this matchup, which is potentially limited, but I'm going to speculate anyway, Luigi's seal pressure options on Ice Climbs is just fantastic because the late double aerials, I think, is pretty safe on Ice Climbs. So you're probably going to see a lot of that. And the biggest mistakes from Nebula in this set is going to be when he misses those timings. So I'm curious to see what happens. But I think it's a good thing for Nebs as well that he has a lot of confidence against the character going in. Because I think against Ice Climbs especially, I'm sure many of you in chat that have played can agree, when you're not confident, it shows in your gameplay a lot. Whereas I'm not seeing that from Nebula right now. Okay, yeah, nice stop. That down air kills deceptively early. <laughs> Holy moly. Ice users are at like 90 and they had no hope. I have no idea what Bombo was going for. <laughs> it was not a wobble. Man. Oh, nice. Yeah, Luigi's throw mix-ups as well on Icy's are actually quite interesting. Because forward throws an immediate, like, splits them up. And it actually can gimp Nana as well. You can forward throw her and then bait a double jump. Ooh, lazy aerial from Nebula. Ooh, that was a great grab. He just waved at her. He just went straight in and went for it. I'm not sure how I would characterize Bombo's play, actually. I've only played him a couple of times. But I feel... I feel that Bombo is quite heavy, but then he's also... He's also very willing to wait and kind of like bait you in and make you frustrated. And it shows in like every aspect of his play, like he'll taunt after starts. <laughs> he'll, he'll do everything he can. It's very Midlands. <laughs> Him and Wills. Actually, maybe not. Maybe Hal isn't. Who knows? I'll leave that to you, chat. <laughs> oh, good idea by Nebs though. But also good DI by Bombo, so. High level interaction by both of these gentlemen. Oh, that was so good. Because for those that don't know, my understanding of how hitboxes can happen in shield pose is that if you leave the hitbox out and drag it into a character's shield, you're much more likely to get a shield step. Because it like interacts the hitbox and the hurtbox at like the latest possible time. I don't know. Someone could correct me in chat if I'm wrong on that. But I think that that's my understanding. That's why Peach is like all back here and then fall into a shield. Ooh. Yeah, it's a bad situation for us Because because Luigi's so floaty, he can stay at that platform level with aerials for quite a long time. This should be a dead mana. Oh, I think he went for that. Also, for those that don't know Captain Nebula's playstyle, he will not hesitate to go for like a somewhat risky punish if it's the best option. So like, he'll often go for like crazy uppies. But they're, they're always sensible. They never like random jump in, jab up you, which is good in itself. But yeah, I respect Nebula's ability to go for optimal damage. Alright, so Nebula keeping the center stage. They're both just trying to be kind of slippery, but I think Nebula's doing it a bit better right now. While, and also holding center stage is like, really important. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that was a good play by Bombo, actually. Because he knew that Neb's only had a limited number of time. Because that's the thing about both of these characters, their stalls both aren't that good. Well, actually, Ice Climbers is okay, but Luigi is pretty bad. Nice. This should be... God damn, Misfire King. Ooh, that was nice as hell. Space so well around the, around the neutral air. Oh, no. Yeah, that's good. I think Luigi's down smash is like a really good kind of last kill option, I guess, because it's really fast to neutral and will just kind of close out a stop, no questions asked, at high percent. So it's good to have an option like that with every character. It's why characters like Martha, for instance, maybe don't. <laughs> no bias. <laughs> Alright, so I think Nebs has just got to like really bleed this lead a bit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> or not. That was good by Bombo though, keeping it simple. Nice. See, this is something that Bombo is willing to do. This is what I'm talking about, the patience. He's willing to just like sit under a platform and do Blizzard decents. Oh, no! <laughs> Typical Bombo, dropping wobble. He's definitely dropped sets to PR players before because of dropping wobble. Oh, I think I'm being joined. By somebody I've not spoken to for a long time in a while. Oh baby. Established commentator and good player himself. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, I got murked. You got murked. <laughs> you got murked. <laughs> no. I've been, thi I've been thinking that up all day. Okay. Yeah. Is, but yeah, this has actually been a super interesting set so far. But 
Is that game one? Yeah, it's nice. still game one. But it's interesting because Nebula is like, or Neb is like really happy about this matchup overall. So I don't think that's oh, really? gonna like stunt mindset. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine he have much practice though. Like, no, in London. I, I think. I think it's just the idea he appreciates because oh, I was saying I to the stream earlier, he sees ice, he sees Luigi as like an infinitely better version of a single ice climber. They, they do seem very. They're like very, let's go sideways along the ground, <laughs> yeah. and then let's go up and down. Move with high velocity along the ground. Oh, yeah. also, there's no yourself, diagonals. Introduce yourself to the stream you may not know. Oh, yeah. Are. Sup, everyone. It's your boy, Hooray for Jay. It's your boy! <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. Um, yeah, so I'm doing early bracket, and oh, you're doing top eight as well. Yeah, I guess yeah same. Oh, I'm, I'm in for the long haul. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm about it. <laughs> nice. Oh, man, that's so good. Luigi's options on Ice Climber Shield are actually generally so you, you, good. Oh uh, yeah, well, oh, Commentator's Curse! Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Commentator's Curse! It's just like, when I was watching Nebs and the Cruise against, I think it was Brown Thumbs Ices, <laughs> it was just, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> not really comparable to Bombo, nope. but um, when like he was shielding, uh, when Ices was shielding, he was just like, he just jumps and he's there for like, it feels like 30 seconds, just floating around the shield. <laughs> and just and he's like, oh, when am I going to neutral air? So good. Because Luigi's moves are like, actually incredibly strong. Like, yeah. You still have to mix them up, but they're still really strong. That's super incredible. So who did you end up losing to? Oh, let's, let's catch up whilst this edge guard. I'm, I'm a bit upset. I think, because I never get salty, right? I just, yes. not, that's not a thing I do. I think, I think I'm the saltiest I've ever been. I'm not salty, but like, I'm the saltiest but I've ever been. But you're closest you know? to that edge that you yeah, could possibly I, been. I yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah, basically, me and... Oh, I feel, like, I feel bad talking about it. I'll, I'll make it quick. Yeah, right? make it quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, We've got some time. They're playing really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me and 23, yep. we're rank 2 and 1 in Brighton, this respectively. Is, this is true. Um, he's beaten me every single time we've ever played, but it's often very, very close. Today it was close. I took him to... I took the first game, and then... Yeah, and then he beat me, and I was like, gosh darn it. Um, I thought this was going to be the day where I'd finally beat him, but no. But no. And then okay. I lost to Sparking in another close set. I'd beaten him before at Infinite, and he beat me here. He's, uh, he's pretty good. Uh, he's, he's about my level, so... Yeah, it's I've, heard, I've heard good stuff about Sparking. It's, it's a tiny upset, not a big one. A, t a tiny upset. It's like yeah. a tiny upset. Like, yeah. it's about... I don't know. I'm There's like, definitely a difference. I, I, I agree with your point. Yeah, it's like a little okay. one. Good. Anyway. We've gotten it out of the way. We, we, we've, back got, the we've gotten the therapy out of the way. Back to the game. I'm super down. So Man, yeah, Bombo's uh, pretty good. Yeah, Bombo's pretty, pretty good. pretty good in the game. He's all right. <laughs> He's definitely beaten Sechi his last tournament he went to. And he only beat Isdar today, didn't he? Yeah, he did beat that's, Isdar. That's He's deep. the whale that's killer. Nice, it's great. That's actually a reputation now. Yeah. Although I think he might have lost a little bit before. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> well, almost <laughs> He might have lost a little bit before. Oh my god. Um, god uh, quick question. How esports are we? Um, Make your swears count, I guess. That's always yeah, Okay, make, yeah, like, make your swears count. Really, that's, that's so good. If you really want to do it, then yeah. go for it. Make it count. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, man. I, so think, I think that should be a London rule. Seventy percent esports. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's, yeah, I like that. Maybe, maybe seventy percent esports. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, I lo love Nana's confidence. Oh, oh, no. oh Nana, oh. Nana screwed that up for him. Okay, that was actually. I really disagree with that. Bombo. Does down throw down like ever work? No, on no. That no. dude's float is this? Oh, not Luigi. All you have to do, I think, if you're heavier than like Sheik, or if you're floatier <laughs> than Sheik, you just di up. Yeah. Nana nearly like down smashed him for, <laughs> hit, for hitting <laughs> Popo. As soon as it happened, I was just like, oh my god, if Nana does anything, it's over. Yeah. yeah. I think the the thing that tilts me most in the yes. game is when Nana's on her own. And, and, she does and Popo's nowhere near, and then Nana just like hits you, and it's like, oh my god, I yep. just lost to an AI. <laughs> it's the worst bit. It's like, it's like a random number generator beat me. Yeah. Oh, is that dead? Oh, yeah. Both, this has been a really interesting set so far. Both games have ended like that on Sopo last year. Yeah, time. my money would, would have been on Bombo though. Like, interesting. Yeah, I, I could see that. I could definitely understand. Like, just by going on. Do you know Sponge? Or Sponge, Lewis? I do. The legend. Yeah, the legend. The he, uh, not yeah. only does he have the sand PR, but the lesser known uh, Google Doc, there are two of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, the ones they use for the um, PR records, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, no, it's not that one. There's a, there's one that sort of splits everything into regions and ranks them. Oh, yeah. He's got his own yeah. sort of personalized ranking in terms of not just pure data. And Bombo's really high on that one, I remember seeing it. Yeah, and he's yeah. also got like a top 75 one, which is my Bible. Whenever I need to see, oh, who do I need to beat, or who, where do I see this person, I refer to this top 75 list. That's a good thing. Yeah, but yeah, Bombo's like 30-ish, yeah. and Nebs is 46, he's just overtaken me at yeah. 47. Bombo's, 
Yeah, Nebs has been. Uh, yeah, ne Nebs has done decent line. stuff. Yeah, he beat me last uh, Brian Stock. Oh really? Not, wow. not uh, number twenty. Yeah. Nice one. I didn't know that actually. I beat him at ten, and then he beat me at twenty. So <laughs> I guess wait, Rachel thirty. You gotta wait. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, Nebs is uh, Nebs up on the. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I feel like there's never been a really gratuitous <laughs> lead in this set, and that says so much about one the characters and two the players. I like all the cheeky stuff Isis can do. Like, did you see the the make Nana moonwalk across the whole yeah, stage? Yeah, I, I love yeah, that. Yeah. That's so good. That's definitely the bomber special. We love yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Can you do the one where Nana does it really slowly? Like uh, Popo just dips I and Nana not. takes ages. That's that the best one. It's, oh, it's a harder though. I really like Nebs' kind of like mentality towards platforms. I guess. Like, oh, like he'll feign fall through and then yeah, drop through up. and then jump back way land down. It's like, oh, when it's am I gonna really come down? It's like it's really strong with space animals, but it's also really good with every other character. So yeah. Shoot, I'm glad he's using it. Uh, all right. Nebs has definitely not been dissuaded by getting wobbled so far, so... Oh! oh, oh Nana! Nana, once again, How showing she her mental off? membership. She's what, what pushed her off? I don't know. I and what caused her not to grab ledge? <laughs> I see, what, these characters <laughs> suck, dude. <laughs> these are big <laughs> questions <laughs> I do not have the answers to. But big talk. It does just happen. It, like, Bomber didn't and even Nana just dies, yeah. yeah. It got pushed off by some sort of collision box. I'm actually really impressed by Bombo so quickly. Like, the entire set, though. It's so good. It's just so intelligent. As you get stick. Yeah, it's like we're, we're not very good at this, sorry. No, I mean, I'm pointing out, I'm pointing out the past. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> not yeah. the future. I'm trying my best. But yeah, no, I just think he's just treated it like he hasn't lost anything. Like, it's still just his character. It's not like suddenly he's playing a weaker character and he's fishing, fishing but down the Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's interesting how... Oh, we could have regrabbed that. Yeah, Bobber yeah. sucks. It was dude. hard, though. The reaction... <laughs> oh, my... Oh, my... Oh, <laughs> oh my God. What was he doing? I love the pressure where you like don't pressure, said, but oh it God. is. It's Unspoken mental pressure. pressure is incredible. Yeah. I think it's one of the highest level things in this game. It's like, it so it's just infinitely more hype than like anything. Like the next yeah. hypest thing you can do is like multi shine in a corner. I do love a good fox like shine, 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 nair, drill, shine, shine. But yeah. But they're just standing there and just, if you stand right next to them, and then just like wave dash back and they grab it, it's like, oh my yeah. god. I think invisible pressure is like the apex of neutral. Yeah, yeah. It's like the, the highest, the most intense ever game. That's, that's the oh, most so interpersonal, mind gamey <laughs> thing you can have. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if I... I really feel like Nev should just go for Nano. Like, I know there's all the... There's the idol ideology of like, just kill Popo, it's fine. Nano won't get in the way, but... What, what I like to do, I like to... Sort of... I don't mind having Nano alive. As long as they're apart, because having having Nana alive, uh, it sort of keeps it, it keeps the Popo interested. The Popo needs to, <laughs> uh, I mean, like the, the Popo needs to look out for Nana. No, that's actually very true. And then that yeah. baits Popo into doing different things. And if your opponent doesn't have a read on whether you're going to commit going to Nana or going for Popo, then it's sort of that's that's a lot of neutral of him. A lot of neutral of the the ice climbers player trying to get back to Nana yeah. rather than just accepting their Sopo for this time. And being. it like influences their like approach to all exactly. of Exactly. Yeah. Of so That's a good point, I don't think I'm not a fan of killing Nana but taking thirty percent. I'd rather take none but keep her alive. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I kind of when Nebs is like back throwing the Popo, for instance, he doesn't go for Nana. Yeah. Which is my main gripe at the moment. But I think. Yeah, yeah. When, when there's Popo's off stage and you can't really go for Popo, it's yeah. sort of you, you might as well go for Nana <laughs> unless <laughs> unless you've got this cool edge guard game. I like these uh, Nana pool things keeping Luigi yeah. out because Luigi like you could, it just. Having the blizzard out completely and the icicles completely negate Luigi's amazing wave dash. See, Ned listened to us. Killed Nano when <laughs> Popo was gone. Yeah. <laughs> and no sooner. Now he's in the like corner, they're both rolling. It's strange. I think something that I didn't know about icicles for a long time is that you know Nanopole it is actually a really big commitment. Like, it's a very strong option, but like, you lose control. Oh, yeah, of if, if, so if they long. jump over it to also, like, Popo's getting punished. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. He does it. That's good. Ned's is on the board. <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> But happy nonetheless. Yes. <laughs> Want to see a nice, good old set? I'd say, and neither of them look too rattled either. I think they're just kind of going through the motions at this point. Yeah, I think for these. <laughs> oh, the bombers jamming. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, stream? Yeah, I'm wearing gloves. It's super yeah. cold. Like they, yeah. they advertised heaters, but the heaters are <laughs> spaced. <laughs> they're, they're, the heaters are few. Unlike some of them. And the heaters areas. not. Yeah. It's sort of kind of warm, I guess. I can almost touch it and not get burned, so <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's it's not the best news. 
See this pressure, he just does the yeah. lowest possible nair. It's really good, especially because if you use like a forward air and down air first, the earliest nair you can do is like the latest before you touch the ground. Yeah. So it's really strong, just by like default. Nice. I'm not sure if I actually like the stage for Ices, because it kind of just catalyzes the matchup. It makes like Luigi's shield pressure way more noticed. It just makes all their wave dashes just better. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. And everyone can move so much quicker. And I feel like Nebs, despite being down two games, has been like moving and navigating situations a bit quicker. It's kind of funny that if this was Fox Falco, we'd be talking about the players, uh, like their options and the things they're doing. But since it's like Luigi Ices, we're talking about what the hell do these characters do? <laughs> it's like, I feel like I have some idea because I do, I dabble with like basically every character. But yeah. I think the interactions are really complicated. Oh, the oh that's, that's a, uh, a, a topic about reads and coverage that I've been really wanting to push, which I'll talk about after Go this on. game. Present your no, 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 after, after, after the set, because okay, there'll okay. be downtime. Okay, wicked. And we need yep. a topic. So look forward to that, viewers. <laughs> Hooray for Jay's hot take. Hooray for Jay's, <laughs> Hooray for Jay's opinions. <laughs> Shield looking low. No, I love that you specified opinions. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's not really, not a whole lot of facts in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I think the facts are you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's like Setchi could just say exactly what I'm saying, but they'd be facts. I love this. This is like the slowest climb forward ever. Bomber's using like really sensible blizzards and kind of going forward with Popo. Yeah. And I don't think Luigi has much counter to it, whereas Fox could like run under. Yeah, it's just like his aerial speed is really bad, and then yeah. Wave Dash is like all he's got. Because he's not going to like jump over them, like yeah, it's going to take like an, an hour to like get over. Oh. That's a shame. I was going to be like, that should be a dead nana, but it is a dead nana. So Interesting thing about when Luigi down smashes both of them, mm -hmm. right? If he yep. hits it, they both pop up. Yes. And obviously their percents are different, so one of them is going to go slightly higher. Yeah. What do you do? That's a good point. You have to, uh, in that like small moment, I think you have to target select. But like, if wh whoever you go for, mm -hmm. if you go, say Nana's below, and you go for Nana, Popo's going to hit you. Yeah, if, if, that's very true. If you, if you go for the bottom one, like, if you don't go for, it's just like, if you don't go for Popo, then Popo's going to punish you for getting Nana. So if Popo's below and you go high to get yeah. Nana, jump up it. I think it depends on percent, because in my kind of like knee-jerk reaction to it, it'll be lower percent go for Popo, the like player control climber, because, you know, mm. otherwise you get punished. But a higher percent, you might be able to just kill Nana. Yeah, so far and then take the hit from Popo unless it's going to kill you or something. I think all of Luigi's grabs have throw armor against the characters, which is really good. Yeah, well. it can, it can and, like, hit them as well. Also. Look, look at this! Nev's just like fully adapted. Up. I really, I hope Bombo uses this as like an opportunity to... It looks so chill! Stage. Oh no. Ooh, but then that, that can just happen. Alright, <laughs> quick, <laughs> opinions on wobbling. Fine, keep it. Yeah. Cool. I, I've got no hot take on wobbling. I'm like, it's just a part of the game and I like I wish it. it wasn't in the game, but now it is. Whatever, cool. dude. Yeah. It's an interesting dynamic, actually. I think it's really tense. It, it gives players something to unite in hatred. Yeah, that too, exactly. O I mean, otherwise, they'd hate on something more valid. I think that <laughs> and like the circle jerk around Fox are needed to like be therapy for everyone playing this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think <laughs> this oh. game, the, the perfections in the game lies in the imperfections. There it is, exactly. Like, you, need, you need some crummy stuff to exactly. balance out all the sick that's stuff. Th that's the risk with down smash, oh, right? Because tries to dab on Nana. The last hit. Oh! Oh. That's it. I really... I mean, the grab was good, but I'm not sure if it was good for, like, honest reasons. Yeah, like, yeah. did win, so... Yeah, that's good. Well, yeah, well played. Hopefully well, yeah. I, that kind of surprised me, how convincing it was, I think. Because mm. I would... Well, I guess it wasn't super convincing, because it was, like, last stock. It seemed... Each game was, like, one stock. Each